done with the Tundra axle. The last thing we were doing was pulling out the carrier bearing and it was completely welded to the inside. I had to make a choice. I had to either get a new gear set which I just got like 2,000 miles ago on that truck, or I had to go a different route and have this 14 volt that's been sitting here for a while. I think I'm gonna go with that instead. I think I'm just gonna scrap the whole dinky Tundra axle and just go with beef right off the bat. I'm gonna pull these leaf springs off, try and lose some of the weight. Disc brake conversion, shave kit, ARV air locker, and 456s, because that's what I have in the front of my truck. And I don't want to mess with the front if I don't have to. So yeah, it's a little crusty. Gonna go ahead and pull the leaf springs off and go from there. Woo! About got crushed. Don't breathe. Jesus. Just wash my hands. <laughs> Me too, dude. Sweet. Me and Blue Boy and my pops journeyed up here to Virginia to grab this truck bed from my homie James. This thing is sick, it's already bobbed. So, got the gas tank going back in, just putting the fuel pump and everything back together. Got our host of Toyota parts. Everything is good with the wheels. We finally got those figured out. Uh, everything is chilling. So, yeah, we are going to, still needs shocks, needs the trailing arms and a couple other things. But, gonna put the gas tank in it for now and uh, see, if she, see if she rolls. <laughs> Coming up out of there.
easy. Don't freak out now. I'm alive. <laughs> Did you get hit? Yeah, a couple times, but it wasn't bad. Why you do that one? <laughs> Why you do it like that? Lesson learned. Everything shock wise is in place. We got the one guy going from here down to there and then vice versa on the other side. is drying and we were running into some issues with the pinch weld fenders rubbing we removed the fender and looked at what we got and these are 35 inch tires this is a two inch lift there's only so many ways you can do it we are going to cut out this pinch weld right here that i'll go all the way back and then hit this part of the firewall and we're just going to lay a flat piece of tube in here um, so that we can hopefully clearance these tires as best as possible front suspension on this isn't going to stay forever but we've already done so much in the rear changing anything in the front is just going to compound issues so we want to work through the problems we have back there possibly before we change anything crazy up here so that being said take the grinder cut all this out lay some new tube in there and do like three more days worth of work <laughs> 